Hello, my beautiful Libra friends. What an amazing 2022 that I see before me in your reading. It is full of excitement. It's full of surprises that are very positive. It's the ability to live the life that you've been craving for a long time, but it unfolds in unusual and surprising ways. So let's jump into this reading and see, let me explain to you what it is that I see for you. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So this year is going to have a lot more positive change that's very powerful in the ways that you would like to see. When I look at the energy, and this is just exquisite, you have night ride. When you look at Night Ride, you see an elephant who is acting as the courier, a protector, a savior, a safety net, transporting their friends, the owl, the mother owl, with two baby owls. We see a hero blasting stars out of the way in the journey that is at night, not letting anything so upset or rock the boat, so to speak, for this little family, this mother with her two children. This is a protector. You're getting a protector this year. Libra, I don't think you've had anybody in your life for a very long time that has truly been a protector for you. When we look at Venus and Saturn, your ruling planets in the seventh house, I don't think that you have had a partner that you could really count on in a long time, or if you have a partner you can count on, there's been a lot of disruptions in the past few years. So what we see is your challenge for 2022 is a brilliant, happy challenge. We see this wonderful green creature. So your challenge is the amount of growth that's coming in for you. Antelope Spirit says that life is speeding up. Whatever you've been sort of waiting around for, convinced it will never happen, well, guess what? You are manifesting it. We have expect the wondrous to emerge. We have miracles are emerging in your life. Things that you never thought would happen are coming to fruition. Dreams that you've had in the future about people, about relationships, about how you envision your life, they're, turn, they're here in the reading for you. We see you entering your first house on the astrology wheel. So if you're a Libra rising, this is definitely for you. You are manifesting the presentation of being someone, and Libra, this is so you. You're kind to everyone. You're gentle with everyone. We see the Three of Cups. This is virtually the bridesmaids who dance at your wedding. Since you are the sign of the seventh house of marriage, we see that you may be in someone's wedding this year. That won't be for everyone, but for some of you it will be. Here is the wonderful twist that I see for you. When we get the Three of Cups, many of you are single. Many of you are open to relationship. Many of you are going to manifest a new love that is a King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, also ruled by Venus, somebody who's very reliable, someone who is very successful. It's virtually the daddy card. When we look at this protector card, when we look at the mother and the two little baby owls, we have a protector for you in the form, the human form of the king of pentacles. This could be a business partner, but I think for most of you, it's definitely going to be a love partner. Someone that you may meet while you're being a bridesmaid or somebody you may meet at a friend's wedding. Somebody who friends may set you up with. But it's going to happen very rapidly. When we look at the energy, when I'm looking at this, what I see is someone who may be a friend that you really have never thought of as a love interest, but somebody who may have loved you for a very long time, someone who may have stayed very quiet. 
when we look at your money house, this is the, your earned income and everything that you value in life. The Ten of Wands speaks to the fact that it's time to give up the burdens. You have been overworking, you may have been underpaid, um, you may have been paid very well, but you may have had such a heavy demand on your talents. Your willingness to do the work is bringing you wonderful good luck. So when we look at you want to lead a happier, simpler life. You don't want to do the things that you've done in the recent past. So you are letting go. You are going to allow yourself to enjoy the energy of a partner's abundance. Again, three of pentacles energy could be a contract that you get. You could begin to do contract work, but you have other people. We have a couple of threes here. You may form a friendship and a partnership in which the responsibilities of your life allow you to have a lot more freedom, to lighten the load, to really enjoy the investment of a group of people who are aligned with you. The three of coins is beautiful energy. It's oftentimes a contract. It's certainly a project. But what we see is this is your eighth house of assets that you didn't have to earn directly. So it means that you, good fortune comes to you through partnership in which you share responsibilities, you share the rewards, and you do it with a great amount of abundance. So we see anything that you invest in pays off. And the Three of Pentacles says that this is most likely a very direct investment, could be labor, but it certainly involves other people, friends, partners, a coalition of sorts begins to bring you access to greater funds, greater, greater bank loans, if that's what you're seeking for a business or anything that you need or want. It shows 401ks, pension money, all the kinds of money that you you do not directly earn. You're starting to prosper in that area. Passive income can also be included in this. When we look at your neighborhood, the tower card, your neighborhood is either expanding so rapidly that the pricing or the house pricing is sort of getting out of whack, or the tower card means most likely for most of you, this is Gemini energy. It's contracts come out of the blue. They're quite unexpected. You may have a big change in your career that comes about very suddenly, very rapidly, because you have options. The nine of coins is legal matters for you. This is your house of partnership, literally, that's every legal kind of partnership. Doctors, lawyers, uh, husband, wife, um, the kind your uh, advisors, financial advisors, business partners. I'm seeing an abrupt change. The challenge is your life is going to move very fast because a coalition of people who are a group of dear friends, acquaintances, create something that's bountiful, that's beautiful, and you're all equal partners. I'm getting this Seven of Cups energy in your ninth house, which means that you have many options. You have many options about going back to school in any kind of contracts, publishing. Many of you will be called upon to maybe start a YouTube channel, but this is also legal matters. So it does look like there's a lot that you are unaware about. Um, there's a lot that remains to be seen. Exactly how this will form in a in a very in a legal manner, in a contractual manner. But you have options, and you will be able to exercise those options with great finesse, my friends. Look at this. She has a magic wand. She has all of these options. You are manifesting. When we get the home, the fourth card, the fourth house, that is your home, your hearth, your your legacy it is also your heritage. So the moon card says that many of you are looking back at your childhood, your upbringing. For some of you, you know, you might be in this energy of seeking inner answers about your emotions, but it's Pisces energy 
it leaves you feeling a little unsettled because all of this change is coming very rapidly. So you're feeling unsettled, but you don't have to worry about a thing because that which makes you feel uncomfortable is very much protected. We have this card of the night ride. We have the King of Pentacles energy. You are being divinely protected. You have dear friends. You have a coalition. You have many options. And what I see is that for many of you, I think quite literally, this is your neighborhood. This is your physical home. But I think for many of you, you're ready to make a big change into a higher level of stability. Many of you will marry this year. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that this partnership that was probably once a friend is now turning into Hierophant, traditional relationship. I feel as though it comes out of the blue. You may not even really trust it quite at the beginning, but I'm seeing that you will take your time. You have the hermit energy. Virgo energy is not to be rushed. This is your fifth house of romance. Many of you have been single for a very long time. Many of you are going to be called upon again to invest in a friendship with somebody that you've known through some sort of group or partnership. Somebody that's going to protect you, make you feel safe. Somebody who brings a lot to the table. The Hermit card says that for many of you, you're very picky. We know that about you, for, uh, Libra. You're very very picky. The energy of the Hermit card says that you're seeking answers. But look at you're the mermaid on top of the lighthouse. People are, you know, in boats sort of coming around looking at you, sizing up what, what they may have to offer you. When we look at your sixth house of health, of everyday life, of how you're approaching your life in a very matter-of-fact, down-to-earth way. Your health looks very good. Your intellect is sharper than ever. We have the King of Swords, Samurai energy, warrior energy. You're seeing everything from a higher perspective, much like a bird. You're able to see the truth, Libra. Aquarius energy, Again, that, that energy of deep friendship, of coalition, of enlightenment. And in your 12th house, we have the Ace of Pentacles, that which is hidden. Somebody is going to make an amazing offer now. I'm going to point out something I rarely get to say. The Three of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles creates an engagement. Remember, I said this is going to be with a protector. We have Hierophant energy, marriage energy in your 10th house. You may meet this person in your career, or you may actually start a career with a partner uh, before your, you might become lovers and you might marry this person and then create a business and have income from it. Or the other thing that could happen is that you may meet this person or you may form the partnership after a period of time. So what I'm seeing here for you, Libra, is an absolutely wonderful time in which your fears hold them at bay because out of the blue becomes many options. And what you have here is hidden wealth, it's abundance, that is in your 12th house. It feels very much like you will probably not tell your friends about this until you're ready to announce your relationship to the world at large. When I look at the energy of the El Goliath deck, it can be what I call the dark side of the moon. And sometimes the dark side doesn't even really have a place because it's so beautiful. But let's look. We see Page of Swords energy. So you meet, might meet someone online or you might have contact from a friend that you've known from childhood that you've lost contact with with the Moon card. They may contact you online. Knight of Swords energy is Gemini energy. Your per this person really wants to rush in. They want to tell you about how they feel about you. Sacred Heart energy is a special card in this deck. It speaks to the fact that you may have had 
someone who has loved you from afar for a very, very long time. Somebody you thought of as a platonic friend, maybe from childhood, somebody you might not have seen for many years. They may have disappeared seemingly, but look at that. The tower card comes in and you have many options. The hierophant card is repeated again. So this does speak to the fact that for many of you, this person may be a corporate leader. This person is certainly a leader in terms of their ability to be a thought leader. This Hierophant energy is leadership, it's marriage, it's tradition, it's the way you, the things that you believe. So you're dealing with a very traditional energy. This is Taurus energy. This is Taurus energy. So we have a King of Cups here for you. Scorpio energy, protector energy, someone who really wants to take you, elevate your life, elevate with you. Their third eye is guiding them to stop holding back what they want to say to you and to move ahead. Four of Wands, this is a card of the twin flame. Four of Wands is... The 1111, the bride and groom dancing under the garland in the Rider Waite deck. Four of Wands is a classic marriage indicator. It is buying homes together, living in a home together. It's about starting a brand new life. Your person's been holding back for some reason. I feel personally that most of you know this person now and suspect that they care about you as a friend, that they might have gone above and beyond the call of duty and a friendship, but I don't think that you've understood what that really meant. When we look at a situation in your life that you don't expect, we see the Son of Cups, and the Son of Cups is a Knight of Cups. That somebody coming in with an absolutely beautiful bouquet of roses, a beautiful love letter with a red wax seal on it. It's a beautiful bottle of wine, caviar, somebody who is coming in to make an offer. The Two of Coins reversed. You may have had somebody that you were dating that has been a burden to you in your life, somebody who causes a lot of chaos, somebody who really didn't give you what you deserve to have, somebody who may have kept their options open, somebody who left you in a state of confusion. We have you no longer being juggled or juggling any situation in love. We have the Father of Pentacles repeating, look at this energy, this beautiful stag energy. Once again, repeating, once again, having a protector. The Four of Cups, you're able to release the toxic energy that you've had to deal with with someone else who never chose you directly. Justice card can be a prenuptial agreement. It's a seventh house. It's your energy, Libra. It's you. It's a seventh house of making a commitment. It's a marriage license. We see six of wands, a beautiful victory, a transformational victory that you do not see, that you do not see coming. It's going to be a stellar year full of wonderful surprises. You will be shaken to the core in the best of ways. I couldn't be happier for you, Libra. Thank you so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Tell me where you're from. Make a note in the comments. Let me know what city or place in the world that you're viewing the video from. Any comments are always appreciated. I do answer them. Sending you love. Happy, happy 2022. It's going to be the best year you've had in many, many years, Libra. Thanks so much. Love you. Bye-bye.